Welcome to Success Talks with Rodney Salisbury. I hope you will support my sponsors who bring you this podcast absolutely free and with limited interruptions. I really appreciate you taking the time to listen. I'll get started in just a second. The reviews are in. The book from voiceover superstar and coach Rodney Salisbury is another runaway hit. Readers from all over the world are raving about tongue twisters and vocal warm-ups. You can find this and his other titles at the top of the voiceover bestsellers list on Amazon. Is real estate a good investment? One of the things that sets real estate apart from other types of investments is the fact that you can use other people's money, OPM, to buy it. I'll say it again. You can use other people's money, OPM, to buy real estate. And that gives you leverage because you own real estate. Investors have the ability to borrow money or finance a property or multiple properties for a fraction of the total cost. Whereas stocks and bonds, for instance, they don't offer this kind of benefit. And that makes real estate a good investment. Are you looking for expert advice on advancing your voiceover career? Are you just getting started in the business? Join the Consultants Club and receive monthly coaching on how to read scripts, interpret copy, and get work in the fastest growing business in the world. When you join the Consultants Club, go to RodneySalsbury.com and sign up. There's also great potential for appreciation. Historically, home values have increased along with inflation over time. Okay, now we all know about inflation. Uh, Things that uh, are worth uh, one thing now are worth a lot less later due to inflation. Over time, they decrease in value. So unlike vehicles, which are depreciating assets, as soon as I buy my cars, uh, as soon as I drive them off the lot, they depreciate, okay? They decrease in value. Real estate, it increases in value in time. Hello everyone, this is Sean Daly for dailyvo.com. I wanna tell you about one resource I highly recommend for vocal warmups because it takes out all of the guesswork and it was purpose built with voiceover in mind. It's called Rodney Salisbury's Tongue Twisters and Vocal Warmups with Other Vocal Care Tips. How's that for a title? So in case you don't know, Rodney Salisbury is a top-tier talent and coach, motivational speaker, and author of several books on voice acting, including You Can Bank on Your Voice and Step Up to the Mic. The book is available in print and on Kindle, and you can find it at Amazon or Rodney's personal website, rodneysalisbury.com. Another thing we can do with real estate is we can rent the properties we buy. And these rental properties have tax benefits. Real estate is a good investment when it comes to tax deductions. There's a long list of tax benefits that rental property owners can take advantage of. And these investment property tax deductions include mortgage interest. Okay, you can get a tax deduction for how much you pay in mortgage interest. Depreciation. How much things depreciate. Repair and maintenance costs. We have to repair things on the property. We have to maintain the quality of the property. We have to maintain the grass. We have to maintain the paint on the house and and make it look fresh. These are repair and maintenance costs, any plumbing problems that you might have. All of that is tax deductible. And then there are also property management expenses. What it costs for you to manage that property, that's deductible. There's also an opportunity for cash flow in real estate, and there's also an opportunity for passive income. And we'll be back after this message. You can bank on your voice, second edition. Get your copy at Amazon.com. Get the audio book on Audible.com. You can bank on your voice, second edition. Get your copy today. Real estate is a good long-term investment, but that doesn't always mean a property won't start producing cash right away in the short term. And why is that? Well, as soon as the rental is filled with tenants, it's possible that you will receive more money than you need to pay your mortgage. And we consider that to be passive income. Anything that is over and above what you owe monthly is passive income that you get every month from your renters. And you know what I love about real estate? It builds equity. That's right. 
it builds equity. And equity is basically free money. It's free money in the form of equity. Now, you may not have cash in your hand right now, but you'll get the big payoff in the long term. So think about using your real estate fund as equity in your retirement, right? So as your tenants pay down the principal mortgage amount over time, your property's value should also be increasing. And if you went with a fixed mortgage rate, okay, meaning that you got a fixed mortgage rate from the bank, you're paying the same thing every month for years, 30 years maybe, 15 years, your monthly payments will stay the same for the lifetime of the loan. And when you get that extra money due to equity, it all goes in your pocket. Graylin Brown, the new novel by Rodney Salisbury. It's the heartwarming story about a family in Detroit. The Motown sound was alive and well. The Philly soul sound was alive and well. And the big three automakers were making wonderful cars every day. Graylin Brown, the novel. Get your copy at Amazon.com or wherever books are sold. Real estate is also more controlled. You know what I mean? It has more stability. Anyone who has invested in the stock market knows that it can fluctuate day to day. And there's much more volatility in the stock market because it's impacted by a number of different economical factors and varying markets. On the other hand, the real estate market is much less vulnerable to significant fluctuations. And remember when I spoke earlier about inflation? Real estate can be a inflation buster. And what I mean by that is inflation raises the cost of goods and services and decreases the value of the dollar over time. And while inflation may seem like a bad thing overall, property owners actually benefit from it. What do I mean by that? Real estate is a physical asset, so it will appreciate along with the rate of inflation. Real estate appreciates, increases in value in time, and it rises with inflation. When things go up in inflation, real estate goes up. A rental property is considered both a good and a service, which means as inflation rises, so do the monthly rents. You can raise your tenants' rents because of inflation, all right? It's also good to have diversification. Don't just have mutual funds. Don't just have stocks. Don't just have real estate. Have it all. Be versatile. One of the fundamental rules of investing is to diversify. A well-balanced portfolio is key to minimizing overall risk and should include a variety of investments across multiple industries. Real estate is an asset class. It isn't directly impacted by the stock market's fluctuations. Having a mix of stocks, bonds, mutual funds, and real estate diversifies your portfolio and minimizes your risks. A lot of the information that I have been talking to you about today, I found on the internet from a man by the name of Rich Fetka. That's Rich, F-E-T-T-K-E. He's the co-founder and CEO of a company called Real Wealth, and he's a licensed real estate broker and experienced investor and a master certified business coach. In conclusion, I'll ask the question again. Is real estate a good investment? Rich says, whether your financial goals are to save for retirement, a college fund, or become financially independent, investing in real estate has proven to be an excellent vehicle to get there. And we here at Success Talks are proud to bring you important information that can help you today, tomorrow, and forevermore. I hope you enjoyed this podcast, and I urge you to listen to future podcasts where I will continue to try and make you better than before. My goal is to point you in a positive direction to success right here on Success Talks with me, Rodney Salisbury. Change my life.